What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. So in the last video, we left off with a Ford F-150 that I really, really like a lot. And I'm trying to convince myself not to put it on the watch list. It runs, it drives, but as soon as you turn the steering wheel, it dies. It's got a 5.0 liter fuel injected V8. It's a 1984. And I need you guys to drop a comment below and tell me I don't need it. I don't need that truck. Maybe what I do need, however, is this gorgeous old Honda Accord Coupe. I love these things. This is a 2002. It's gonna be an EX because it has the sunroof. It's got a lot of dings, guys. You probably can't see it in the video, but it's got a lot of dings. It also has a service tag on it. The back end has been crunched. The bumper doesn't fit right anymore. It's, you know, the V6, it should have leather interior. This thing should have everything, guys. Fully loaded. Tinted windows, but the windows don't look all that great. The tint has got kind of rippled all over the place. Let's take a look at the interior. I love these. I absolutely love these. Super reliable cars. Generally, they last forever. Miles, I'm not entirely sure. It says 1320. I don't think that's accurate. And the fact that it has a service tag is very concerning. You guys know me. When I see a service tag on a car, typically I walk away. 90% of the time, I walk away because that means something was going wrong with it. Somebody took it into the dealership or to a service center and the service center told them some bad news and then they dumped it. So, very concerning. Let's see if it's got any power. Sorry, it gets loud out here, guys. It does have power. Miles are 140, 676. I fired right up. Uh-oh, we've got a light flashing on the transmission. That's important. That is very important. Right here on the dash, I don't know if you can see it, but D4 is flashing. So D4 is going to be your overdrive. Of course, the SRS light is on. Maintenance required light is on. Traction control light is on. Check engine light is on. Yeah, she's got problems. Let's find out if the air conditioning works. This is going to be one with a transmission issue. Absolutely. Um, let's see if it's got... Re oh, wow. Whoa. Violent. Good Lord have mercy, that was crazy. It does go backwards. Drive. Oh, man. I've got it in D4 and it moves. D3. Same. Two. Yes. And one. Yes. So it looks like, by the way this thing is flashing D4, it's got an overdrive problem. Put it in reverse. Oh my god. That's, yeah. That's that's really bad. <laughs> that, is, that is really bad. How much you want to bet the trans fluid is probably absolutely disgusting. Man, this thing's got everything though. And the air conditioning is cold. It's missing the, uh, the faceplate for the head unit which kind of sucks. You can probably find one on eBay, but... Oh, we got some cards. That's still got a bunch of stuff in it. Huh, even a mask. Important window works. Less important window does. It's trying. Is it stuck? Let me try it over here. No. Yeah, that one is dead as a doornail. Make sure no cars are coming here. And let's pop the hood. Why don't we have a quick look at the trans fluid? Probably one of those cars that nobody ever maintained the transmission in. And because of it, well, unfortunately, here it is, when it could have been on the road. It could have still been out there on the road for many, many more miles. Yeah, the fluid's not the worst. It's pretty dark, but I mean, it's not the worst. 
you could always hope that uh, maybe a transmission service would fix it. But nine times out of 10, that's not gonna work, guys. If I remember right, these Hondas are slush boxes. There's no, uh, I don't recall there being a filter on them that you can change, nothing you can access. You, uh, you just drain it, fill it, and then drive it, and then drain it, and fill it, and drive it. And you do that if, did it just die? It did. Whoa. You do that a few times. Oh no, it's running. It's so quiet. Wow. Anyway, you do that a few times and eventually you've got clean fluid. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this, actually that feels better now that it's warmed up. It's still not right. Oh, you hear that? What is that? It only does it in gear. No, there's something wrong with the trans, for sure. Doesn't do it in reverse either. It's only in drive. It's only in D4. All the other gears, nice and quiet. You go into D4, Yeah, there's unfortunately something very wrong with this and I don't think it's gonna be as simple uh, throw the fresh fluid in it and drive it down the road type of deal guys this one's gonna be a little more than that that's too bad I really do like these little Honda Accords I also seem to remember the uh, transmissions in these I think were kind of finicky to be to begin with certain years of them i recall uh the transmissions were not good all right continuing on let's see what else we can find i i love the little mitsubishi mirage man i mean not that one in particular it's pretty trash but i do like a mitsubishi mirage i like the new ones the new ones are stupid cheap guys especially if you get the uh, i think it's the rally art it's probably the best bang for your buck in a car that you can get today, like a three-cylinder, 78-horsepower Mitsubishi Mirage. I think you can get them for like 15 grand. I'm not sure there's a cheaper car that you can purchase brand new out in America today other than the uh, that Mitsubishi Mirage. Comment below. Tell me if I'm wrong. I shouldn't. It's got it's got plastic wrap all over. What's wrong with? Oh, it's an insurance. Car. Oh wow. Yeah, there's the Cavalier that has meat in the trunk, rotting meat. No, thank you. Pass on that too. Oh man, look at this little Nissan. The hood went straight up. I wonder if that's what caused the accident. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it, man. I'm telling you right now, I've had the hood fly up on me, I don't know, two or three times throughout my life. I've never crashed. I've never had an accident. Generally speaking, the best thing you can do if the hood goes up on you when you're driving, try to see if you can get a peek anywhere through the hood, slow down, and move out of the way, just pull off the road. But wow, I do wonder if the hood came up on that and that's what caused the wreck. This one, this one doesn't have a hood at all. Just missing, not included. Nice little Audi. Nope, wrecked in the side. Oh yeah, wrecked, wrecked really, really badly. <sighs> Hail damage, Chevy Malibu. Not really interested in a Malibu, a V6 Mustang. Again, no. A pedal Dodge Nitro. Oh, I know better than this. I do, I know better than this. It doesn't have the 20 inch wheels, so it's gonna be a base model. But it is a run and drive. 2007. It's not an RT. It's not a heat. Oh, it's got scrapes all down it. The tires aren't the greatest, but I mean, it's got tires, so that's good. It's got a seven pin. It's got a tow package. Not sure what you're towing with it. I can't remember what engine comes in this. Uh, I keep thinking it's a 4.0. I'm just going to take a quick peek at it. I can't pass a Dodge Nitro and oh, wow. 
Yeah, that's uh oh wow, somebody taped and glued the window. Oh my goodness. This is telling me a lot, guys. I just opened the door and I've learned so much about this car already. I don't I don't think I want it. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, it's been parked for a while. Oh. There we go. Didn't even have to jump it. It smells so bad in here. Good God. Yep, check engine light is on, TPMS light is on, ABS light is on, traction light is on, ESP BAS light is on. It is misfiring. And it smells like something died in here about six years ago. And it's probably still in here somewhere. We're going to shut this off. I can't do this. This is, uh, this is rough. It's really rough. I love a Dodge Nitro. I don't even want to pop the hood on that one, guys. No, not interested. However, what's going on with this GMC Safari right here? This is a legacy conversion. I mean, I love the Safari, but I'll tell you what I love even more is a conversion van. She actually looks pretty good. Let me guess, it's wrecked on this side. Capital Auto Auction, never heard of them. Not quite sure why an auto auction would be sending it to an auto auction to sell. Oh, somebody's been in here. Oh, somebody. Doors don't work? Okay, <laughs> we're, we're off to a great start, guys. Okay, uh, last hope. Oh, wow. No. Woo! Oh, my. Um, yeah. I am going to hard pass on this one. Yeah. I do love a GMC Safari, but no. <laughs> no. Let's walk away. Here's a nice little Acura TSX. Oh, is, is something happened there. The front wheel is no longer where it's supposed to be. It's uh, smashed into the fender. Buick Encore, smashed. Buick Regal, smashed. We're, uh, we're striking out today, guys. And when I say today, I mean like the last several days because I've been out here filming all day and I'm not finding anything. I'm not even finding my normal donation cars that I love so much. I don't know what's going on. People, you need to start donating your cars. Please, please start donating your vehicles again because I love the donations. And they have really kind of, they've kind of died out. This doesn't even say who it is. I'm not really interested in this anyway. Not a big fan of the Malibu. I see a little Mazda SUV here with some sheet metal screws holding on the uh, front trim. Car Donation Foundation. There we go. We found donations, guys. Finally, a donation. 2006 Mazda Tribute. It's got good tires, at least on this side. What about this side? Good tires on this side too. Body looks good. Paint looks good. This is decent. Let's take a look. Oh. Uh, I thought somebody locked it. I was going to say, good lord, man. Come on. Dead as a doornail. A little dirty, for sure. Not the end of the world, though. It's got a Sony head unit. So somebody already put the beats in here for you. It's been sitting a while. You can tell. Oh. Look at this. There you go, a big old screwdriver. Huh. Let's see if we can pop this hood, it's stuck. We'll try it again. Try it again. I'm not sure that hood's gonna open, guys. She's, uh, she seems to be stuck pretty good there. I definitely wanna see this one. Let's see if we can get this one running. No. There we go. Persistence. There it is. Oh, wow. 
Yep, she has been sitting a while. Oh boy. All right, well, I was hoping that there was a hood latch here, or a hood prop, but there it is. I found it, it's hidden. It fell. There are spider webs everywhere. Um, leaves everywhere. Yeah, this is rough, guys. Somebody did put what looks like a brand new idle air control valve on it. Uh, and then I guess they just left it. It doesn't look like it has... Yeah, it's got coolant. Let's check the oil. This has been sitting a long... Oh, wow. Ugh. I can't get the... Uh... I can't get the oil dipstick out. <laughs> it's stuck. It's got new coils as well. Transmission fluid is bright pink. That's concerning. That always worries me. I really would have liked to got that. Oh, yeah. I can't. Uh, I can't get that out. Inside the engine looks pretty clean though. All right, let me throw a booster pack on it, guys. Let's see if it wants to start. Moment of truth. Is it going to run or not? I'd like to open these uh, back doors, too. There we go. Let's take a look, see what it looks like back here. A little dirty. Not the end of the world, though. All right. The leaves just blew out from under the hood. 206,000 miles on the odometer. No kidding. Feels like it's got a mount out. You can feel a vibration from the engine. Sorry, from the engine. It's got brakes. It goes right into gear. Brakes feel good right into drive yeah I mean not too shabby uh, the shift button is broken so you've got to push in right here to get it to move let's see if we've got any air conditioning And I don't know what this button does. Oh, it, no, I don't know. I have no idea what that button does. We'll just leave it off for the time being. Pull up the e-brake. Power steering works. 205,000 miles. Almost got to be a dead transmission, right? Almost has to be. Important window works. Less important window works. All the windows work. As far as the AC goes, not really feeling much. Wipers work. Lights. Signals. Brights. I'm testing all the stuff on here, guys. Even got cruise control. I mean, this air conditioning, by the way, is not uh, non-existent, which, you know, sucks, but could just need some Freon. Who knows? Make sure it's unlocked. Don't want this thing locking itself. I would like to see back here too. I assume it just opens up. There we go. Do the struts work? Yeah. Plenty of room. It's missing the headrest back there. Looks like somebody was into the spare tire. Yeah. See what I mean? It sat for so long, guys. Look at all. It, this is just caked. Yeah. She sat for a long time. The question is why? Why did it set for a long time? Because it seems to run pretty good. It's a transmission problem. Someone had just put some new tires on it too. I wonder what the date code is on these tires. Primewell Valera HT. Uh, 235. 70 R16. They're cracked a little bit. The DOT. That's not going to help us. 
It doesn't have the numbers. Somebody put struts on it too. Alternator's charging at 14 volts. So we can shut off the booster pack here. It doesn't need it. It actually runs pretty decent, guys. All right, well. Oops. I'm a little skeptical. But I think this is one that I'm going to put on my list. So I went ahead and put this one on my list. I figure if we could get it for really, really, really cheap, it's worth the risk. And then I saw this. I'm not quite sure what this is, but this is a pedal car. It says it's a run and drive. It's right next to the Mazda Tribute. It's a 2007 Mazda 5. It's kind of like a minivan, except it's a teeny tiny minivan very bizarre i'm not sure i've ever really seen one of these suicide doors oh minivan doors no joke it really is like a little minivan look at this third row seats captain's chairs in the center no way this is actually I like it. I don't know. I like it. It's a little scraped up on the side here, but I mean, that's not a... Oh, man. Door handle's broken. That's not the end of the world. Let's scoot this seat back. Make the interior look a whole lot better. January of 2020 parking permit. I don't have to tell you guys, that was a long time ago. That was, a, that was quite a while ago. I kind of like this. 125,000 miles. What do you guys think? We gotta check it out. We've gotta check it out. I, I have to. It even comes with two key fobs. No way. Smells decent. Headliner's good. I don't think it has any power. Let's put the key in it and find out. Dead as a doornail. Let's find the hood release. Let's see what this thing's working with. Probably a little four banger would be my guess. I can't believe I've never seen one of these before. If I have, I just don't, I just don't remember it. Yeah, a little four banger. That's good, easy to work on. Looks like mice have been under the hood here. That's never a good sign. So under here, there's some fur. What is, what is going on here? Well, something has been under here. Looks like we got trans fluid. I guess it wouldn't hurt, just take a quick peek. See what it looks like. Ooh boy. That is dark. That looks like that looks like used motor oil. So that ain't good. Um I'm looking around for any chewed wires. I see lots of exposed wires, but I don't see anything where uh it's got oil. It's on the low side, but it does have oil. It says it's a run and drive. All we gotta do is put a jump on. I don't see any wires that are exposed or anything. Anything's gonna cause a problem. Let me grab the booster pack, see what the little thing does. Okay. Well, moment of truth. Very intriguing little car. <laughs> I really like the little thing. Fired right up. Seems to run out great. Let's try out the air conditioning. With any luck, it has it. Dashboard shows 125.502. It's idling well. Shows it's got a quarter of a tank of gas. Important window works. Less important window works. And survey says all of the windows function like they're supposed to. Huh. I... Ooh. Creak. Creak. Yeah, you know, that's fine. That's no big deal. No books. And I don't think we have air conditioning either, guys. I was hoping we did, but I don't think, uh, I don't think we have air conditioning. Gears? Brakes? Feels like we got brakes. Backwards. Yep, forwards. Show enough. Very nice. 
I'm impressed by the simplest things. If a car goes forwards and backwards, I'm impressed with it, okay? The steering works, but boy is it creaky. Definitely, definitely makes some noise. Got a little bit of storage there. Let's see, we got an oil change sticker too. 0501 of 22 at 123049. So it hasn't been that long, a couple of years. So I'm guessing it sat for know, a couple of years. It's a shame that air doesn't work. Let's get out and take a look under the hood. And I wanna, I wanna sit back here too. It's got continental tires, I believe all the way around. Hold on, let me look up here. No, the front, that one is a Falcon. It's got good tread. That's a Continental, it's got good tread. I mean, the captain's seat, ooh, that headrest is painful. That needs to go up, there we go. Maybe that's a little better. For kids, I guess it would be okay back here, but for adults, this is, this is, uh, yeah, definitely not the most comfortable. And my next question is, if you scoot over here, does this door work? What is going on here? No, and it locks. As soon as you try to open it, it locks. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this door doesn't do anything. So maybe permanently damaged. Third row seat, very little room back there too. It's tiny, definitely tiny little dome light little seats little little thing here but you know for a small family it could be all right let's see how much room we got back here oh zero there's zero room now if you fold these down suddenly you have some cargo room yeah a little storage back there too so now you can haul the groceries, but you can't fit the whole family. <laughs> you gotta pick what's more important. And we got a Continental here and we got a Falcon there. So it's got a pair in the back, a pair in the front. I wonder if this damage could have anything to do with why this door doesn't open. Bumper, look at that, we already fixed it. Let's take a look, see if the air compressor comes on at all. It's leaking a little oil from the front here. Um, you know what's interesting? I see the alternator, I see a tensioner, I see what I believe is a water pump, or that may be an idler. I think that's a water pump. I don't see an air conditioner. The uh, AC blower is on though. The cooling fan's running. It's bizarre. I don't see an air compressor on this. Alternator is charging. I mean, it runs great. This could be a decent little econo box for somebody. A little grocery getter, little family car. Put this back on, close the hood. I think, I think the star of this video, sadly, very sadly, may actually be this little, what was it, a 2007 Mazda 5. The only reason I want it is because I've never seen one before. Just, it's kind of cool. Let's see if the radio works. Radio works? Sounds good, man. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. We'll turn that off. Obviously, AC doesn't work. Um, if you guys have any idea about where the AC compressor would be on this, I'd be very interested to know because it's got all of its belts. The belts are all installed, but I couldn't find an AC compressor on this to save my life. Very, very bizarre setup they've got here. Windshield wipers, yeah. Lights, I'm sure. Brights are on, I can see them on the car in front of me. Bingo, signals, they work. Horn, works. Steering wheel controls, two key fobs, cruise control. What more do you want, man? Shut it off. Dead as a doornail. Probably gonna need a battery. Not too shabby. I'm gonna put this on the watch list. Um, I have my suspicions. Maybe the transmission is bad in this. I don't know. I, I know absolutely nothing about a Mazda 5. 
all I know is I, there's something about the little thing I just love. All right, so I put the little Mazda 5 on my watch list. It's a, it's a public restricted car, which means dealer only, businesses only can bid on this. So that's gonna help out a lot. I also put the Mazda Tribute on my watch list as well. I kind of think the Tribute is the better vehicle. It's, it is, it looks better. It needs a good cleaning, but other than that, I mean, assuming the transmission is good, but the transmission could be bad in either one of them or both of them, I just don't know. Uh, this one's public though, open to the public, which means I'm gonna have to fight more people to win the bid. What I wanna know is what do you guys think? If it was your car, if it was your choice and you were picking one of them, would you pick the 2006 Mazda Tribute with the V6 that looks like it's got spider webs and everything under the hood. It's been sitting for four years. Or would you take this one with 125,000 miles? Remember, the Tribute has 205,000. Which one would you do? A pedal or a donation? 125,000 miles, 205,000 miles. Which one would you bid on? Because right now I'm having a very difficult time making a decision. So I guess that's gonna be it for the video. Listen up though, if you're interested in some upcoming vehicles, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. I got a 2016 Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG coming to the channel very, very, very soon. All right, on top of that, I bought a pizza car that yeah i bought a domino's pizza car a legitimate domino's pizza car it's got the graphics and everything and i bought it somewhere way up in the northeast i don't remember where i'm having that car delivered to my uncle's house in indiana so stay tuned because this car apparently has some kind of mechanical damage it probably will not make it back to Oklahoma, but Monkey Wrench Mike has agreed to go with me. We're gonna take a road trip up to Indiana. We're gonna try to see if we can do something to fix it and hopefully drive it all the way back to Oklahoma. And stay tuned, it might make it. I think it'll be fun. And maybe even we'll try to deliver a pizza from Domino's in Indiana down here to Oklahoma. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's see if the car can successfully make a delivery. I think it's an amazing car. I posted it on my Instagram. If you didn't see it yet, go check me out on Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And the links are below the video, guys. You can just go check out my social media. So between the S63 AMG and the pizza car, uh, we got some great content coming up for you guys here in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Drop your comments below and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.